shower them. Well, I can tell you, whatever they're targeting, it's not working. Why don't they try targeting this? The 415% increase in seniors using the Orangeville Food Bank since 2017. That's what you get with eight years of this government. Or the 45% of Canadians who are within $200 of not being able to make ends meet. Why don't they target them? But instead, what they're going to do is triple, triple, triple the carbon tax and make everything even worse. When will the government stop actually hurting families, do something to help them by allowing them to keep the heat on and cut that darn carbon tax. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Seniors. Madam Speaker, I find it so ironic when Conservatives stand up day in and day out and pretend to care about seniors. Yet day in and day out, year in and year out, they vote against everything that we put forward for seniors. Just a selection, Madam Speaker. A GIS top-up of $947 annually for 900,000 single seniors voted against. Enhancing the CPP by 50 per cent for future retirees voted against. Restoring the age of eligibility for OAS back to 65 from 67, which made seniors work two years more to, ben to get the benefits that they worked for. The Honourable Member for Medicine, Medicine Hat Couch. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. According to this uh, member, it appears as if seniors have never had it so good. But after eight years of this Prime Minister, life just keeps getting more and more expensive. Because of the Liberal carbon tax, Canadians can no longer afford to eat, heat, or house themselves appropriately. And it's about to get even worse from the government's planned tripling of the carbon tax. Conservatives will keep the heat on and continue to fight this useless and costly tax. Will the Prime Minister take responsibility for this cost of living crisis so we can fix what he has broken? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary, the Minister well, thank of you, Environment Madam Speaker, and Climate Change. And, uh, the Conservatives talk a pretty good line on, on affordability, Mr. Speaker, but when it comes time to deliver, they're just not present. They voted against every one of our affordability measures. But there's good news, Mr. Speaker. Good news on the horizon. As of April 1st, a family of four re uh, will receive a climate rebate up to $1,500 in his home province of Alberta, $1,000 in my home province of Manitoba. Eight out of ten families will be better off. Those payments will uh, come quarterly. Life will be more affordable, Mr. Speaker. I don't know why the Conservatives just won't take good news. There it is. Honourable Member for Peterborough, Northumberland, Peterborough Sect. Madam Speaker, after eight years as Liberal uh, Prime Minister, Canadians are quickly running out of patience and time. Let me tell you about Donnie from my riding. He depends on Ontario Dis Disability Support Program to get by. With the surge of rent, he spends 90% of his income just to keep a roof over his house. And you know, that leaves very little for groceries and for heating. Donnie needs help. He needs a government that will keep the heat on by taking the tax off. When will this Prime Minister get out of the way and let us fix the problems he caused? Yeah. Oh. The Secretary to the Minister of Immigration. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I think we can all agree in this chamber that no person with a disability should live in poverty. That's why we are committed in creating the Canada Disability Benefits, a thoughtful design income supplement with the potential to seriously reduce poverty and improve financial security for hundreds of thousands of working age people with disability from coast to coast to coast. On February 3rd, Madam Speaker, Bill C-22 passed unanimously in this House. <laughs> 